Good morning, I'm Maddie Jansen, and this is the podcast of 17 News at Sunrise. It's everything you need to know to start your day in about 15 minutes. In the spirit of the Golden Empire, this is 17 News at Sunrise. Good morning. Planning to travel through the grapevine this morning? How wild weather may affect your post-holiday commute today. Plus, it's the real-life story of the Grinch who stole Christmas. Someone breaks into a local man's home on Christmas Eve and makes off with items worth thousands of dollars. And this morning, the victim is taking action. And it's the best Christmas present any new parent could ask for. A look at Kern County's first Christmas baby just ahead. I'm Vanessa Dillon in for Maddie Jansen. And I'm Aton Wallace and for Alex Fisher. Thank you so much for being with us on this day, on this Thursday. This day after Christmas, it's a, a busy a Thursday. Absolutely. For sure, and uh, a lot of weather uh, we're, we're focusing on this morning. We are on Stormwatch for you. 17 News forecaster Kevin Charette spent his Christmas monitoring the uh, uh, the storm monitoring the snow and Kevin, how's it looking out right now? Well, we talked yesterday through uh, social media that this was going to be a big storm and it is uh, dumping a lot of snow into the Kern County Mountains. I want to show you right now the uh, Pinpoint Doppler HD radar and you can see some heavier showers did push through the Bakersfield areas. I was coming in right around 2.30 this morning. It was coming down pretty good and you can see we're still seeing some heavy snowfall out of Tehachapi and some of the higher elevations up into the Kern River Valley getting a little bit of a break uh, near the Grapevine. Here's a look at the uh, Grapevine Doppler radar, and you can see the I-5 not seeing a lot of snow right now, but there is a lot of snow on the ground, and that's why we're seeing closures. want to show you the 58 right now, and you can see we've got some rain up near Keene, the Tehachapi area, also Stallion Springs, Bear Valley seeing snow right now, and there's plenty of it on the ground. I want to show you Tehachapi right now, a live picture. This is the railroad cam in downtown Tehachapi, and you can see the snow is falling. Uh, Snow plows have been coming through town. Uh, and it is just a mess. Uh, we're not getting any uh, reports of the 58 uh, being closed entirely. Eastbound is closed at Tower Line Road, though, out of Bakersfield, so keep that in mind. And we are going to continue to see this snowfall throughout the day. My buddy uh, Tyler Napier sent me this picture this morning. He works with the city, and you can see the uh, downtown area just covered in the snow. A beautiful sight, but also can be kind of a problem. So here's a look at the traffic information right now. I-5 northbound. Southbound is closed. Highway 58 is closed eastbound again at Tower Line Road. We're going to continue to monitor these uh, road conditions and bring you the very latest in just a little bit. The snow is going to continue into the mountains pretty much all day. I've got more details on that coming your way in just a little bit. But first, we're going to send it back over to the news desk. All right. Thanks so much, Kevin. Let's take a look at your morning commute this morning. If you're heading outdoors, one thing to definitely notice is how the grapevine is closed. But a few things here locally, just around four o'clock this morning, we are seeing a traffic hazard uh, in the lower escape ramp of the South Ramp 33. And we're also expecting to see some minor flooding near Airport Drive and State Road. And other than that, we've seen a couple minor injuries throughout this evening, but things are looking pretty clear for you. Uh, One big thing to notice, again, is if you are heading on a bigger commute, through the grapevine. It is closed, so uh, definitely stay with us. We'll keep you updated on what we're expecting for the remainder of this morning. We'll have another check in 15 minutes. Right now, we're going to go ahead and just, you know, if you're waking up this morning and you need to get back home, there's a lot you need to know about the storm and road conditions. And right now, we are going to go ahead and check in with 17's Karen Walsh. She has a look at what you can expect for your morning commute. Good morning, Karen. Well, good morning, Aton, Vanessa. I'll start by saying where I am right now, it's not snowing, it's not raining, but it is extremely windy out here. So definitely please be careful if you will be driving. This morning, we started driving down the I-5 to just see, just see how far south we could get. And it's right here at Grapevine Road. That's right after you hit the Tahone outlets where CHP is turning people around, making them drive back northbound. Now, snow, like Kevin mentioned, started falling short falling over the grapevine shortly after eight last night and there were reports of several cars stuck as well as several accidents including a rollover off the gorman ramp around eight last night that's when chp started pacing then shortly after 10 i-5 over the grapevine closed in both directions while chp says they've been working on clearing the roads they have not 
said when the grapevine will reopen. And now AAA says that this year they are expecting the highest volume of traffic on record between Christmas and New Year. That's 9 million people in Southern California that will be traveling, 8 million of them which will be on the roads. Again, they say that is a record. So if you'll be coming back on the grapevine today, CHP does have a few tips for you to keep in mind. First of all, before you leave, check your car. That means inspect your tires, inspect your fluids, your battery levels. Make sure you have a full tank of gas ready to go. Chains are required on State Route 33 or any mountain roads for that fact. And if you will be stuck, just prepare for the worst case scenario. Make sure you have blankets, snacks, water, a phone charger in your car. And in terms of alternate routes, if you really do have to go to Southern California today, CHP is recommending the 101 eastbound 58 to Hatchet Bay State Route 58. Those are all closed. So definitely just take it slow, increase your following distance, and be careful out there. I'll be back in about another half hour with another live look. For now, live from the grapevine, Karen Hua, 17 News. 5.05 is your time now. If you're just waking up this morning and you need to get back home, there's a lot you need to know about the storm and road conditions. Late last night, the grapevine closed. Snow stuck it to the ground and caused cars to get stuck in some areas. And CHP at Fort Tejon says the main goal overnight was to help the people stuck on the pass. And crews are also working to clear roads. And there's no word on when the road will be reopened. But if you need to get back home soon, here are two alternate routes you should keep in mind. The first route is over Highway 14 that takes you through Palmdale and Mojave. Now, due to holiday travel and other road closures, be sure to drive slow and give yourself enough time on the road. The other route is along Highway 101. That's going to take you through Santa Maria and Santa Barbara. Well, there's a massive storm underway, and if you're planning on traveling, we want you to be safe. Yes, we do, for sure. We've got some tips for you if you're hitting the roads today or at any point this week. So if you drive through snow, make sure you have everything you need in case you get stuck. Now, some cars already have gotten stuck on the grapevine, and if this happens to you, it is important to be prepared. Keep some blankets and extra food and water in your car. It's also a good idea to keep cell phone chargers and batteries in the car as well. So if you make sure you have your chains for your car in case you need them. We've already heard about uh, chains being needed on Highway 33. Absolutely. All right, here at home, a real-life story of the Grinch who stole Christmas. But in this case, the Grinch stole much more than just the Christmas spirit of an Oildale man. Yeah, Benjamin Perez says a thief or thieves broke into his home on Christmas Eve and stole items worth thousands of dollars. Now he's had enough. On Christmas Eve, Benjamin Perez opened the door to his Oildale home near Lincoln Avenue only to find this. His house had been ransacked and burglarized. This is where they came in right here through the window. Perez says a thief or thieves broke his bathroom window and trashed the place. But that is not all. I came in and everything is just gone. He says the culprit stole thousands of dollars of Perez's belongings, including his dryer like this one with his clothes still inside. His computer and his cherished guitar. It, it feels really personal. That was my favorite guitar, and that's the, you know, and it's gone, and all my amps and my pedals and the looper. And the computers also had like music and art and stuff on there uh, that I spent a long time uh, making, and like pictures and stuff of like, you know, uh, my grandparents from my dad's side that are no longer here, pictures of, you know, just like all sorts of like personal stuff. You know, everything. Also stolen, Christmas presents Perez was planning to give to his family and friends. They broke the window and they opened it. He believes there's only one way someone could have known when he was not home. It's a back house. The entry is through the alley. So it has to be someone nearby who sees me come and go because it's everything. Because they took so much. You couldn't have taken that quickly. Now he's packing up, too nervous to stay. I just don't want to be here anymore. The window's broken, all my stuff's gone. Because of the neighborhood, I've always been a little bit worried that this might happen, but it hasn't. I've been here for a long time. No one knows I'm here, so I felt safe in, you know, incognito, you know? But now, uh, now I don't feel that way. I feel like, uh, I feel like if I stay here, potentially the person may take more. Perez did file a report with the Kern County Sheriff's Office, and even after going through all of this, Perez says he's not angry and just wants to get back to his life. So Perez did not have homeowner's insurance or renter's insurance, 
So we have set up a GoFundMe account, and if you'd like to donate, we have posted that on our website, kget.com. Well, how about a baby for Christmas? A baby girl was born just after midnight on Christmas at Mercy Southwest Hospital. Her name is Genesis Cherry, and she weighed six pounds and fourteen ounces. Her parents were shocked at her early arrival, but they said their little girl was the best Christmas gift of all. Of course, another baby was born just after two a.m. at Memorial Hospital, and a baby boy was born at Adventist Health at six twenty-two a.m. yesterday. All those Christmas babies, all so those, cute! Uh, absolutely, and <laughs> mom is in good spirits, elated at her yeah, new baby girl. Absolutely wonderful. Well, the weather out. Side is frightful. Yep, we'll tell you all you need to know about the conditions you'll face if you're traveling today and how to prepare for them. And that winter storm I've been talking about for days has arrived, bringing a lot of snow to the Kern County Mountains. We'll touch more on that coming up right after the break. Stay with us. Working in the spirit of the Golden Empire, this is 17 News with Maddie Jansen, Alex Fisher, and Kevin Charette with your pinpoint Doppler forecast. This is 17 News at Sunrise. Welcome back. Now we're going to turn things over to 17's Karen Walk, who is live on the grapevine with a look at how traffic's flowing this morning. Good morning, uh, Karen. Well, good morning, Aton, Vanessa. I'm going to give you a look at what's happening right here behind me. Take a look at this long line of cars all being turned around on the Grapevine right now. While it isn't snowing, it isn't raining right now, we are here on Grapevine Road. Take a look, Caltrans monitoring this traffic right now, making sure everyone is turning around and driving back northbound. Snow did start falling on the grapevine last night, and there were reports of several cars stuck, as well as several accidents, including a rollover off the Gorman ramp. So around 8 last night, that's when CHP started pacing, and then shortly after 10, I-5 over the grapevine closed in both directions, which is what you started seeing earlier today, all these cars being turned around. While CHP says they've been working on clearing these roads, they have not said yet when the grapevine will reopen. AAA says that this year we are seeing the largest travel volume on record between Christmas and New Year's. They're expecting about 8 million people on the roads this holiday season. So if you'll be coming back on the grapevine today, a few important reminders. Of course, please check your car before you leave. That means inspect your tires, inspect your fluids, your brakes, your lights, everything you need before you hit those roads. Make sure you have a full tank of gas in case of the worst case scenario. Make sure you have blankets, water, snacks, definitely a phone charger in your car, again, in case you get stuff. We'll definitely be monitoring these conditions, see when this great find reopens, and we'll give you another live look in about half an hour. For now, I'm Karen Hua, reporting live from the Great Vine. All right, All right, Karen, thanks so much. I mean, it's very hectic already, the traffic. It is hectic, and they're turning the cars around. Yeah. You saw what Karen uh, uh, said there. So we'll check back in with Karen then. In the meantime, more and more people are shopping and spending money online. Yeah, that's right. What impact that's having on this holiday season. KGET Business Watch is brought to you by Grapevine MSP Technology Services, the Valley's leading IT service provider. Welcome back. It was a red letter holiday season for U.S. online sales. E commerce sales from November 1st through December 24th increased nearly 19% compared to the same time last year. That's according to credit card company MasterCard. Overall retail purchases, with exception to automobiles, were up more than 3% compared to 2018 sales. An advisor to MasterCard says the later than usual Thanksgiving holiday may have played a factor in the sales numbers this year. And the most impressive single day for online sales, well, that was Super Saturday, which landed on December 21st. According to the consulting and research firm Customer Growth Partners, that day alone pulled in a record $34 billion. That's more than four times the sales from this year's Cyber Monday.